Welcome to your Healthy Back Lecture hosted by Santa Ana College. This lecture is going to be composed of two main pillars. Pillar number one is a strengthening routine composed of different exercises that focus on your core and muscles in the low back. And pillar number two is a full body stretch routine that focuses on stretching the muscles that, that either directly or indirectly influence your low back's health. We're going to begin with the strengthening exercises and then finish off with the stretch routine. Make sure to watch the entire lecture because at the end of the video, there's going to be a five question quiz at the very end. Let's begin with the strengthening routine. Beginning with the plank, set up with your elbows placed directly under your shoulders and then push the ground away from you forming a straight line from your ears, shoulders, low back all the way down to your heels. Hold this position for the prescribed amount of time. Next up is the side plank. Place your elbow directly under your shoulder bend your knees and raise your hips up off the ground. Try to maintain a straight line as directed by the red line here and hold for the prescribed amount of time. This side plank is just a progression from the modified side plank. Begin by placing your elbow directly under your shoulder. This time instead of bending your knees your legs are going to be out extended. Push your hips off the ground and try to maintain and level with the red line here and hold for the prescribed amount of time. Now we're going to add a dynamic component to the side plank. Begin by threading your arm in between the ground and your upper body. Reach your fingertips as far back behind you as you can and then begin to open up bringing your arm and your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Continue for the prescribed amount of reps. The last variation of the side plank is going to be done with the dumbbell lift. Get back into that same position that you had with the side plank. Grab a light dumbbell, in this case it's 5 pounds, and begin swinging that dumbbell from the ground all the way up towards the ceiling. Keep a slow pace throughout the repetitions and continue for the prescribed amount of reps. Moving on to the ipsilateral dead bug. Ipsy is just another way of saying same side. To begin, lay down flat on your back with all four limbs up in the air. Begin by moving your right arm closer to the ground. At the same time, you're going to begin stretching and extending your right leg, bringing your heel closer to the ground. Continue through this pattern as demonstrated here for the prescribed amount of reps. To progress, now we're going to be doing a contralateral dead bug. Contralateral meaning opposite sides. Set up in the same fashion that you did before, laying down flat on your back, but now you're going to be moving your left arm closer to the ground as your right leg extends bringing your heel to the ground. Continue in this opposite limb like fashion for the prescribed amount of reps. Now you're going to switch positions over to, over to a prone position. Lay down on your belly and raise your upper body and lower body off the ground. Squeeze your glutes and your quads and begin transitioning your arms from the overhead position over and behind your low back. Continue through these repetitions in a slow and controlled manner and complete the prescribed amount of reps. Lastly, for the low back and core strengthening exercises, we have the half kneeling dumbbell swing, both from a modified and a progressed version. Here, starting with the modified version, get into a half kneeling stance. With one knee on the ground, grab a light dumbbell. In this case, the demo is using a 10 pound dumbbell and begin swinging that dumbbell in an arc like motion. The speed of the swing should not be slow. It should be at a relatively fast pace. This would allow for your body and your core to contract and stabilize your entire body. As a progression, get back into that half kneeling stance and then raise that back knee off the ground so you're about two to three inches off the ground and continue with that arc like motion at a relatively quick pace. This again will cause your body and your core to contract, ultimately stabilizing your entire body. I hope you enjoyed the core and low back strengthening exercises. Up next, let's get into the full body stretch routine. For the ankle rocks, get into a half kneeling position. Make sure your foot is flat on the swaying in and out of this position. 
If you feel your heel coming off the ground as you rock forward, then take a wider step forward out in front of you. Continue leading the movement through the hips, making sure your heel is flat on the ground. After five repetitions in the beginning position, open up your leg to about a 45 degree angle from where you started originally. This will help open up the hips further as you begin stretching that ankle complex. Get five repetitions in per leg. And then open your leg up to a 90 degree angle from your original position. Continue rocking in and out of the position, keeping your heel on the ground, feeling the movement or feeling the stretch coming from the ankle and the hip complex. For the three stop hamstring stretch, begin by getting into a figure four position where one leg is folded and the other one is out straight in front of you. Bend one knee so it's high up close to your chest and begin reaching with both hands towards your heel. Hold this position for 15 to 20 seconds and then lower the knee closer to the ground. We're gonna call this a mid peak. Hold again for another 15 to 20 seconds and then try to flatten out your knee so it's flat with the ground. And we're gonna call this a low peak or a no peak position. And again, reach with both hands towards your heels. For the supine leg extension, Begin by laying flat on your back and pull your knee as close as you can to your chest. Once you are in the starting position, begin by trying to stretch out or lengthen out your leg completely while continuing to hug your knee close to your chest. Do five to seven repetitions per leg and switch. For the side lying quad stretch, Lay comfortably on your side and grab your top leg and pull it backwards, trying to bring your heel to your butt. Hold this position for 15 to 30 seconds and then switch over to your other leg. The wall assisted quad stretch will allow you to get a deeper stretch in your quads. To begin, place your foot low on a wall and try to drive your hips forward. The more you drive your hips forward, the deeper the stretch is going to be in your quads. As a progression, drive your foot further up the wall and again push your hips forward. The higher your foot up is on the wall and the more you drive your hips forward, the deeper the stretch is going to be. For the next progression, Put your foot up even higher and drive your hips forward and hold each position for roughly 15 to 30 seconds. The quad to hamstring stretch complex is very similar to the wall assisted quad stretch. To stretch out your left quad, reach behind you using your right arm and grab onto your left foot. The more you stand up and push your hips to the ground, the deeper the stretch is going to be. Let go of your foot and rock your body weight backwards, pointing your toes up towards the ceiling. You should feel this stretch in your hamstrings. And then continue, but now you're gonna grab your left foot using your left arm and pull your heel toward your butt. The more you push your hips towards the ground, the deeper the stretch is going to be. Let go of your foot and rock back, pointing your toes up towards the ceiling. You're going to continue alternating between stretches for the quad and the hamstring, beginning with your left leg being stretched, grabbing with your right arm, transitioning into your hamstring stretch, and then continuing back into your quad stretch, but now using your left arm.
The world's greatest stretch is one of the best stretches to implement into your program. To begin, get into a half kneeling position and try to bring your elbow as close as you can to the ground. Open up that same arm up towards the ceiling, rotating through your mid back. Drop your hands back down to the ground and rock your weight backwards, pointing your toes up towards the ceiling, allowing for a deep stretch in your hamstrings. Continue going through this pattern for five repetitions. This variation is a progression from the previous one. This time, your back knee is going to be straight instead of getting into a half kneeling position. Once your back knee is straight, drop your elbow as close as you can to the ground and then open up towards the ceiling, reaching your fingertips towards the ceiling. Put your hands back down and then rock your body weight backwards, feeling a deep stretch in your hamstring. Continue going through this pattern for three to five repetitions per leg. This next stretch allows for proper mobility through the low back. Begin with your shoulders flat on the ground and your knees together and begin swaying your knees from side to side for a total of 5 repetitions per side. As a progression, Lift up your legs off the ground, keeping your heels and your knees together. Continue with swaying your legs from side to side. This will continue to mobilize your low back while activating your oblique muscles. Get five to seven repetitions per side. For the mid back twist, to stretch out your right side, Drive your right knee as high as you can, and then using your right arm, reach up under you as far as you can towards your left. Use your left arm to push the ground away, allowing you to rotate. Hold this position for 15 to 30 seconds. This is the same stretch from a different angle, allowing you to see what to do with that right arm. Reach that right arm under you, and push the ground away using your left arm. Hold this position for 15 to 30 seconds. For the 90 stretch, the goal is to keep contact with the ground using your knee and your shoulder. To begin, bring your right knee up and over and anchor your right knee to the ground using your left arm. With your right arm, begin drawing a half circle around you. Again, the goal is to keep your right knee in contact with the ground using your left arm to anchor it. Using your free arm, begin drawing a half circle around you. The goal is to keep both your right shoulder blade and your right knee in contact with the ground to really stretch out that thoracic spine. The pretzel stretch is a progression from the previous 90-90 stretch. Begin by bringing your right knee up and over and using your left arm to anchor your knee to the ground. Now bend your left knee behind you and using your right arm to bring your heel in contact with your butt. Once you're in the proper position, swing your shoulders from a closed position to an open position. This angle allows you to see what is the movement that is coming through the shoulders. While both your legs are anchored to the proper positions, sway your shoulders from this closed position to an open position. Rock in and out of this position for a total of 5 repetitions per side. Pale and rails, 
get into a, a similar 90-90 position where you have right angles at both your left knee and your right knee. To allow for more comfort, lean back and use your arms for support, almost as if you're using your arms as crutches. While maintaining this 90-90 position at both knees, you're going to be rotating from side to side. Use your arms to help you prop yourself up to get a deeper stretch in your quads and your glutes. Hold each position for a total of 10 to 15 seconds and then rotate back to the initial starting position. Use your arms to help you rotate from side to side and also use your arms to help you prop up and get a deeper stretch into the hips and your glutes. To get a deep stretch in your left lat and your left QL muscle, use your left leg and hook it behind you bringing it closer to the door jam. Grab on to the door jam using both arms and then push your hips as far away from the door jam as you can. Hold this position for 15 to 30 seconds. You should feel deep stretch coming from your lat and your QL muscle. You have finished watching the entire healthy back routine. Now it's time for the quiz. I'm going to put the questions up and pause where you need to pause, answer the questions, and then turn in your completed quiz.